So I'd like you to, um, hopefully you're with me, I'd like you to uh, pause what you're doing for a minute here and go back to the SciFinder reference answer set and click on where it says Refine Journal 29. So click on it before we refine by English. So you'll see the list of 29 references instead of the list of 21. Because sometimes there are papers in there that we are interested in um, whose languages may not be listed, right? So if it does, if it's in English but it doesn't list the language as English, we won't see it when we refine by English. Um, so sometimes you have to look through. So I'm sharing my screen, and I think I'm sharing it at slightly higher resolution now. So hopefully you'll actually be able to see it. Um, you can go ahead and stop sharing your screens now because that's probably uh, affecting your ability to see mine because you're downloading every you're, you're looking at everybody else's as well so hopefully if I'm the only one sharing screens that'll speed your computer up and stop it from crashing um, at this point it's only necessary for you to share your screen with me if you want me to see something um, that you're displaying otherwise you should just be seeing mine So if you look, hopefully you're with me and you can see the 29 references there, right? And we, we'll just kind of scroll down. Most of them list the language as English. You'll see if you, if you continue to look down, um, number eight, there's a comparative study on nutmeg mace and their processed products. That one was in Chinese, so we didn't want that one. The next one under there is in Japanese, right? Um, reference 12 is also in Chinese. And if you keep scrolling down, um, and then go to page two, you'll notice on reference 25, the title of reference 25 is just Trimeristin. Um, the journal is Organic Syntheses. It's from 1926, so it's a very old article. Uh, it says language unavailable, but Organic Syntheses is published in English, so that article is in fact in English. And Organic Syntheses is a journal that is actually tested. Um, people submit standard procedures that they think are good procedures for a particular, making a particular compound or isolating a particular compound, and then it gets sent out to an independent lab to test that and make sure that it works. So anything that's published in organic syntheses is reliable. Um, they have a series of collective volumes and then they have individual volumes. Uh, and in there you'll notice that it says ether, diethyl ether in this case, extraction of 1500 grams of crushed nutmegs gives between 330 and 364 grams trimeristin and they give a melting point 54 to 55 degrees. Uh, that's probably pretty reliable. You could take the mass of trimeristin that range from 330 to 364 grams of trimeristin and divide through by 1500 and get the percentage. So go ahead and click on that article, right? Trimeristin. I'm clicking on it now and link to other sources. And what you should see um, is it should tell you that you can actually browse that journal, right? So you're looking for page 100 in volume six from 1926. If you click on browse journal, right, it automatically takes you to volume 97. Well, that's not really where you want to be. Um, but under quick navigation, right, there's this thing that says select annual volume. So you'll click on that and you'll scroll all the way down until you see annual volume six. Right. And then you'll get the list of papers from annual volume six. And then on the next window, right, if you click on that, it'll allow you to choose the page number so you can scroll down to page 100 and then click go. 
you have to accept the warning that says that, you know, if you try to repeat this, you might blow yourself up if you don't know what you're doing. And that should open up that reference for you and you can click on the little PDF button. So that's a legitimate source. That's, that's a good source of information that you should be feel free to use. You will have to calculate the percentage yourself. Um, Should we then upload a separate journal with the IR spectrum? Because this one doesn't have it. Um, the IR spectrum, we're going to do that in a second. I'm going to show you how to get to the IR spectrum. So yes, you will, you will be uploading a separate journal for that. But I just wanted to point out that sometimes um, refining by English actually excludes articles that you want. And in this case, it did. So that org sin, that's it. That's definitely a good journal. If you go back to refine journal, you know, 29 and get the 29 references. And you kind of scroll around, you'll also notice that reference 23 Right in the abstract of reference 23, it says nutmeg oil contained about 40% trimeristin with a melting point of 56.2 degrees. Right. They have it right in the abstract. That's by Munster Z and the journal is Untersuchslebenstrom. Language unavailable, but it's safe to assume um, based on the author's name Munster and the fact that the journal title looks like it's German, that that article is probably in German. Um, so I went ahead and I, I interlibrary loaned that paper. It's available. Uh, you don't really necessarily need to read the paper, which might be difficult since it's in German, because that abstract actually gives the percentage right there as 40%, which was the up the kind of the upside total from the original article we were looking at, right? So. So that's also a useful article. Language is unavailable, but obviously the language is in fact German. So you might want to take a look at that paper. Uh, and if you read, if you if you kind of take a look at that paper, uh, even though it's in German, sometimes useful information can be obtained from it anyway. Right. They're isolating uh, Maristin Zoira. Right, is meristic acid, Zoira in German, that S with the A with the umlaut over it, U-R-E is the German word for uh, acid. So meristin Zoira is meristic acid. Laurin, Laurin is C12, so meristin, meristic acid is 14 carbons and lauric acid is 12 carbons. So they're also isolating that uh, trilauric. And kind of, if, if you scroll down through there, they're isolating that from multiple sources but eventually if you scroll down there you'll find something which kind of sounds like maybe it, it's the German word for nutmeg and I think it's on page 513, 511, 511, it's on page 511 at the bottom there'll be a Roman numeral 3 and it says glyceride der muscat butter muscat butter is nutmeg butter uh, so that's where that number came from the, the nutmeg butter right from the literature has the glycerides of meristic acid and olin meristin and oilensoira oilensoira is oleic acid um, so it's telling you kind of what the composition is that's where those numbers came from that they that were listed in the abstract it's on the bottom of page 511 and the top of page 512 granted it's kind of hard to read because it's not in english uh, but it's a legitimate paper. You you could you could cite it because the numbers you're looking for were actually in the abstract. It is never okay to cite um, SciFinder as a source, right? SciFinder is not the source. SciFinder is the database that allows you to get to the source. 
So you always want to cite the paper that you obtain through SciFinder, not SciFinder as the source of information.